Hey, how's your day? Today, we're gonna use the removal tool and just the removal tool. It's been around since about May 2023 and I'm gonna use just the removal tool today to fix the face. The face we're gonna fix, mine. I've got a custom action that I created that's gonna create four different layers to give you more control over everything that you wanna see and remove. So let's get on it with the removal tool and fix this face. All right, here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of the layer. Now I'm gonna run that action I created and I called it the face. Now, when you look at the layers, I've split the four different things in that I wanna fix. Wrinkles, fine lines, blemishes and etc., and the old double shin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll go after the wrinkles. Now, we'll go over here and grab our remove tool and here's my settings. The size of it doesn't matter because you're changing it constantly anyway. I want it to sample all layers, but I unchecked remove after each stroke. You don't have to hit the little check mark here. And plus it gives you more control of how many things you want to remove. Just use your enter key. All right. Now, let's just paint over these wrinkles that I want to get rid of. Leave the bottom eyelashes alone. Let's kind of go over here. Same as over here. Let's remove these wrinkles. Enter. And they're gone. But being my age and trying to get this to be age appropriate, what we can do is zoom out. Yes, they're gone. And here, let's just remove this little line here. Enter. Yes, they're gone, but it looks unnatural. The cool thing about having it on its own layer, back off the opacity to zero, and they're back. Now, when you're looking at it straight on here, just bring up the opacity to the point where they're gone. And it looks a little more natural. We're talking about 85% here. Cool. Now, let's look after the fine lines. I know I've got some on my forehead. Let's see here. Yep. So, let's make the brush appropriate for the size, roughly. And we'll take these fine lines and remove them. A couple over here. I noticed one over here over here and a couple over here zoom out enter now once again the fine lines are gone but to, to check here let's bring the opacity back you can see they're back but just bring it up until they disappear from your sight it doesn't have to be a hundred percent so let's make this 190 or so. Now, let's go after the blemishes. Zoom in again. I got something going on here, 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 and here, and here. And I know I bumped my head the other day, so I got one here and here. Those are the blemishes I can want to remove here. Let's just remove a couple more things. Zoom out and enter. And the blemishes are gone. Cool. Let's bring it back here. Oh, they're there. Now to the naked eye, it's always best to just back it off, back it off until they disappear. It doesn't have to be 100%. So let's make it 75 and they're gone. Now, let's kind of zoom in here and do the dreaded double chin. So it's, it kind of fades off about here. So let's make our brush a little bit bigger and go along the line of it just about there. A couple of hairs down here we'll get rid of. Zoom out. 
Enter. And it's gone. Nice. But once again, let's take your opacity and bring it back. There it is. And we'll just back it off so the naked eye doesn't see it anymore. Right about there. Let's make it 75%. Now, with these four layers, the cool thing we can do is we can constantly check back and forth. Four after before after now if you're happy with the results then off you go now there are could be some more lines and things you want to remove so if there are either use the existing layers or create a new one for yourself i'm going to create a new one for myself right about here and i'm just going to call it ridge now once again, we'll zoom in here. Just get rid of these guys on the bridge of my nose. Zoom out. Enter. Very cool. All right, back it off. There they are. Now, let's bring them up. Just ever so slightly, so it kind of looks natural. Right about there. So let's make that 85%. So now we fix the whole face, and it looks nice. It doesn't look like it's glossed over or plastic or anything else. Before, after. Before, after. Very cool stuff. Well, as you can see, the Remove tool removes exactly what we want, and with the control of the other layers, we can make it look natural and not plastic. I'm not a youngin' anymore. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you have any. I'm done from 4911. See ya.